damn, I missed it. Will Smith is in a sub, submarine, a little pod. Some of my earliest memories actually revolve around the ocean. We'd be out on the boat and I would desperately, absolutely desperately want to know what was down there. But I'm not sure Will feels that way. <laughs> Will's scared of that sub. That little dicky sub. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One thousand meters, thirty-three hundred feet. A place so deep, not even light gets down there. But what exists in total darkness? The divine. Back on the surface, other members of our team are asking the same question. I love Jasmine Team. There are a lot of people who are afraid of the dark. And I'm one of them. I love the darkness. Are you kidding me? I got bitten and dragged by an American crocodile in the dark, and it's kind of made me a little bit wary. But not wary enough to stop the canoeing at night in a glass bottom boat. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. That is Part so of the amazing. Part is overcoming your fears, and when you do that, that's when you get to see the magic. And I know somebody's going to think that this is some kind of uh, digital trick, some kind of, no, these are luminary this one animals. This full of tiny creatures. You disturb them and they burst into sudden light. You run through them and you create a light storm. That's amazing. We think it might be a defense, like turning on a security light to reveal intruders. Oh, look at that. Wow. Any movement in the water picks up the glow. Or like millions fish. of lightning bugs, but in the water. Girl, you crazy. Oh, yeah, that is an earth shark. That's gorgeous. Look at those tail beams. This world is far from dark. It's constellations, it's stars swirling underneath your fingers and underneath your paddles. ever seen a magical world that you'd never experience if you stuck to the safety of the day mm -hmm. <laughs> there goes will smith in the darkness so we're losing light as we go down and with that the colors Exactly. So white light is made of lots of colors, and as it hits the water, different colors get absorbed before others. Roy G. Biv. That's how my grandmother taught me the rainbow, Roy G. Biv. So, you know, <laughs> red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. 
Got it. So red goes, orange goes, exactly. yellow goes. Exactly. So it's like blue is the last to go, and that's why everything looks blue in the ocean. <sighs> Check your shirt out. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> we were picking wardrobe, and the uh, kept demanding the red shirt. Kept demanding <laughs> What's the, you think it was for? But I, I didn't know. I was like, I want to be an explorer, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna just be in a blue world soon, and then a uh, dark world. <laughs> We've only just started, and already the light from the surface is fading. But before the dark, there's twilight. A world we think of as having very little color. As night falls, the world, like the as we know it, totally KG disappears. Too. It disintegrates around you. Our eyes struggle to make out our surroundings. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it getting louder. Yeah. That was what? That was coming. Sometimes during a full moon, when the skies are clear, a ghostly arc of light appears in the mist. It's a moon bow. It's nearly impossible to see. It's like this thin gray line in the air that's stretching out over the entire gorge. But with the right camera and the right lens, you can see the line for what it really is. It's a rainbow, but it's created by the moonlight. Just like it does after a rainstorm. But here's the thing. Moonlight isn't actually strong enough to activate our color vision. So the moon boat remains hidden in plain sight. It's a world of color that is just completely hidden in darkness. 